Well, it is officially time to turn back time. That's right. Daylight saving time is ending this Sunday at 2 a.m. That's when we turn our clocks back one hour and gain an extra hour of sleep. Now this is always a good time of year to remember to check the batteries in your smoke detectors and your carbon monoxide detectors, as well as just check that NOAA weather radio to make sure that everything is up to par where it should be. Now I know we're all looking forward to that extra hour of sleep, but not all of us are looking forward to the earlier sunset times. Now on the first day of daylight saving time, the sunset is moving into the five o'clock hour. That's coming in right around 530 for Tyler. Things are getting earlier and earlier as we get to the end of the year. We won't have the sunset move into the six o'clock hour until the beginning of next year. So we have a little while to wait on that. Now, daylight saving time is been in the United States on and off since World War One. It was first implemented back during World War One to save on energy costs. However, as the war ended, it was repealed. On to World War II, they brought back daylight saving time again, and once again, it was to conserve fuel. Often, instead of calling it daylight saving time, they referred to it as wartime because it happened during the World Wars. Once again, after the war ended, they repealed it nationally. Fast forward to 1966, when Congress passed the Uniform Time Act. That established our time zones across the United States, as well establishing a national daylight saving time. So that's when we would spring forward in the spring and fall back one hour in the fall. Now, there have been a couple of shifts between the 1960s and now. However, we still do observe daylight saving time nationally. However, there have been attempts to make it a permanent thing, so we would spring forward and simply never fall back. Those would be called the Sunshine Protection Acts. None of these have been passed. They've been introduced several times in the late 2010s and the early 2020s, uh, but they have never really made it into law. They often stall in the Senate or in the House. So we will be turning back the clocks this Sunday, unless of course you live in Arizona or in Hawaii. Those are the two states that do not observe daylight saving time. The exception to this in Arizona is a portion of the Northeast where the Navajo Nation lies. That's where they still do observe this time change. For CBS 19, I'm Sarah Blue.